If you currently live in California and are considering moving to the Portland metro area, you're probably trying to decide what the biggest differences are. So in this video, I'm going to help you decide if moving from California is the right move for you or the biggest mistake you'll ever make. Hi folks, I'm David Backholer. I'm a real estate broker based here in Portland, Oregon. And several years ago, I moved from Oakland, California to Portland, Oregon. So the goal of my channel is to share my experience with you, talk about my relocation, but also help you with your move here. So please do consider subscribing to my channel and also reach out to me if I can assist you with your move to the Portland metro area. You'll find all of my contact details down below. So my story is not unique. It's incredibly common for people to migrate from California into Oregon, and there's several reasons for this. Generally, there's a better cost of living and a better quality of life. Those tend to be the main reasons I hear from my clients. But in today's video, I thought it'd be beneficial to provide you the biggest differences, as well as similarities between life in California and Oregon, so you can decide for yourself if it's the right move for you to make here. Now, one of the biggest reasons you can probably already see for yourself, and that's the stunning foliage and vegetation that we have here. Oregon is incredibly green, and you'll find many tree-lined streets and mature trees and parks throughout the neighborhood. Now, when I lived in California, there was constant droughts, so using water to keep your lawns green was generally discouraged. But here in Oregon, we don't have those issues. Now today I'm down at the Tom McCall Waterfront Park and that's situated here on the Willamette River. And this area is famous for these spectacular cherry blossoms. Now it's not just these beautiful trees that makes the Portland metro area spectacular. You've also got spectacular coastlines, rivers, lakes, and of course mountains nearby to enjoy. Now on the topic of coastlines, California does of course have some stunning coastlines. I used to go to Stinson Beach in the San Francisco Bay Area fairly regularly, and somewhere like Manzanita or Cannon Beach here in Oregon is going to be fairly similar in terms of very long, very walkable, flat beaches. Now, if you're someone who travels to Lake Tahoe in California for your annual ski trip, you're also really going to enjoy the ski options here too. Mount Hood is the nearest location to Portland. It's only about 65 miles east of here, which is over the other side of the river. Now, there's approximately 80 ski trails on that one mountain, so there should be more than enough there to keep you occupied. So I would say the second big difference I've noticed about living here in Portland is that it has a much more laid back, more casual, more relaxed pace of life compared to California. And when my wife and I moved here and started going out for dinner, we'd always dress up quite smart. I would put on a nice shirt and a sports jacket, but to be honest, that's not really the vibe you get here. Now don't get me wrong, there are some fantastic restaurants, but overall the general way that people dress is a little more casual. The pace of life is a little more slower, and it's, it's hard to describe accurately, but it's definitely more noticeable that people are perhaps a little less stressed here, or generally happier in doing their own thing. Now I would also say that people here are very friendly and community orientated, and that's not to say that my neighbors in California and weren't friendly, but it feels that like there's a lot more block parties and community events in the neighborhood here in Portland. Okay, so another difference you will notice about moving here is going to be the weather. Now we do have a fantastic, beautiful sunny day here, but similar to California, we typically get the warm and dry summers, but the rain does tend to fall in those cooler months, mainly from around November through to April. Now you'll also notice that the days tend to be longer in the summer months than in California. Now on the longest day of the year, sunset in Portland is just after 9 p.m. and that's about 30 minutes later than the Bay Area. Now the reverse is the same in winter where our sunsets are around 25 to 30 minutes earlier. 
Now you'll also notice clear differentiations between the seasons here. We can get snow in the winter, we can have wet but absolutely stunning springs and things start to blossom here too around that time. Now summers can be warm and then the colours of the trees in fall look spectacular. So changing topics, one of the biggest differences about living here in Oregon versus California is going to be the cost of living. Firstly, there's no sales tax here compared to the sales tax in California, and that ranges from around seven and a quarter to 10 and a quarter percent, and that's gonna add up pretty quickly. And then house prices are also much more affordable here compared to California, although of course it does depend if you live in one of the major cities down there, but in general, like for like, you'll find it significantly more affordable here. Now, median home prices in Portland are around $550,000 compared to the LA area of $790,000 and the San Francisco Bay area of over $1.3 million. Now, of course, salaries are lower here than California, so that is something you'll have to factor in. But if you have a remote job where you get paid the same no matter where you live, and it's definitely going to make more financial sense to move here. Now before we continue, I did want to remind you again, my job is to make your move to the Portland metro area as smooth as possible. And so I can do that, I ask you to take three quick actions. Now obviously, subscribe to my channel so you'll always be aware of my latest videos. I want you to send me an email of your contact information so that way I'll be able to add you to my newsletter and you'll receive a lot more information about the entire area. And then finally, find the link down below where you can schedule a Zoom call with me. This is where we can spend some time virtually, face to face, and I can understand who you are and how I can help you. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so let's change topic again and talk about something that you'll actually find quite similar between California and Oregon, and that's the job market. Now in California, you have Silicon Valley, but here in Oregon, we have Silicon Forest. Now this is also a big tech hub up in the Portland metro area, and Intel is the most prominent tech company here. You've also got Nike, which although it's a sportswear company, you have big tech departments and their headquarters in Beaverton, and that includes product design and supply chain management. Now, changing topics again, and a big difference between California and Oregon is that Oregon is a lot less densely populated and overall far more rural. On average, in California, there are 253 people per square mile. However, in Oregon, there are just 40 people per square mile. And although these are fairly high level statistics, you will notice that once you start driving in one direction, it really doesn't take you too long to be out in the country. Portland is a mid-sized city, it has all the amenities you could need, but the Portland metro area only has around a third of the population compared to somewhere like San Francisco, and it's also surrounded by country and fields and farms and trees. Now, because it's a medium-sized city, it also means it's fairly quick to get around. Don't get me wrong, traffic can back up here, especially during rush hour, and going over some of these bridges, which you can see behind me, that's where traffic tends to back up. It's a much more pleasurable experience driving around the city in general because it is faster to get around. So overall, there's a lot of similarities between both California and Oregon, but also some things that are quite different. Now, if you want to know more about Portland and which neighborhoods are right for you, I recommend you watch this video next. Also, do remember to reach out to me if I can help you with your move here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.